Good morning and welcome to Frank School 7th year 40th day first video. The making of resurrection. I, I've stopped saying the characters because I've, I've got them all, uh, at least for now, pretty much all of them. Uh, and yesterday we got this package. Uh, the pickup truck actually could be regarded as a kind of a, a character in its own way. Uh, so I put that there as well. Bingo is, is the, the puppy. Uh, but before I get on with this, let me see over here some things I, I forgot. Purcell, I mentioned Purcell because he's the best, is the most famous of the catch composers. And what's interesting about Purcell is on a Sunday morning he would probably be playing the pipe organ in Westminster Abbey. I think he was the principal organist there. On a Saturday night he'd probably be out singing and singing and catches and drinking uh, in the taverns. Uh, Viva Bacchus is a Mozart piece uh, that, you know, looking for a theme for Bacchus, you know, why not that? Long live Bacchus. I, I listened to that and I didn't really want it. For, for one thing, it just kind of jokes about the idea of a Muslim drinking and then getting drunk and uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to go there. I, I just, I, I just, it, the song isn't that lively anyway. I am offering links in the description. Now and then I offer links if you want to hear what these tunes are like. All right, now the casting. Uh, casting this group <laughs> is, uh, well, the children, who uh, I, I find it, it's qu quite easy in a way. I, I'm lucky enough to live in a community that there's two couples that leap to mind, Andy and Donna, uh, and then Nelson and Sarah. Now, I'm, I'm not using last names here, but they, they kind of leap to mind. Uh, uh, they, Donna has no young children. Uh, Sarah has many children, actually, and of all ages, uh, they do. And, uh, uh, you know, so, so the character, the boy, uh, would be uh, available there. That wouldn't be hard. But then, you know, they're, ac they're actually couples. These two are not a couple, but they come to mind as well, because uh, Matthew would be great for the role of the woodworker. Uh, and, and Hannah would also, she's a very pretty woman, young woman, and uh, she uh, knows what's going on. She understands, and, and she would be good as well. So if I had the option of casting uh, young, younger people here, uh, they would be a choice. But it goes on. I, I could, I, you know, as I say, I, I feel quite lucky in my community to have <clears throat> some people like that. Besides, no, they're, they're ones that are in the community itself. All right, I wanted to say Act 1. I'm still in Act 1. And I begin to worry a little bit about how long is Act 1 going to be. Well, you know, I, I think I'm going to stop worrying about that. <clears throat> I've got to get action going. <clears throat> it's not enough to just be pulling these characters up, even with dramatic tension <clears throat> involved in, uh, you know, lust for Festus and why is he sad and the humor. You can only go so far. You've got to actually have something happen, which is one of the reasons that the pickup truck gets stuck. But about the time of it, you know, I one of my principal or almost my only source on Wagner, his operas, is this graphic novel I've got uh, about the ring cycle, <clears throat> four operas. They were long. I, I think uh, some of them were four hours long, just one opera. Uh, and you know, you say, well, that's too long for a movie. Well, yeah, maybe, but <clears throat> the thing about it is, this movie that I imagine was not really intended to be only uh, seen in a movie theater. Maybe not at all. It was seen on a cell phone <laughs> in Africa by some kid sitting on a rock. That would be fine as well. And so it, it would be okay. It could almost be, not. it wouldn't work as four separate movies, but certainly, or five rather, separate acts. I'm not going to worry too much about the length. Uh, well, I won't forget it, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, the pickup gets stuck. Now they've got something, the team has got something to confront. Uh, I, in, when I cast this in my, or set this in my mind in Portugal, I had it be a storm that came up and and, and so there was trouble with the ox cart making it to the uh, abandoned village and uh, it was and, and uh, the old man saw that and, and, and he and his daughter went out to help. Well this would be easier uh, to, uh, to 
stage to manage. Uh, what makes it worse in my original and now too is that uh, Robin is not feeling good. She's real clearly in some trouble. She's she's maybe not up to this. <clears throat> she's sick. Well, she's morning sick. Uh, that I, I had said that it wasn't completely clear that she was pregnant. Well, it's, that's that explains it. Eventually, uh, the the audience or the viewers would figure out that that's what's going on. She. She's morning sick. She's going to have, she's going to have a baby eventually. Uh, all right, now with the stock pickup, <laughs> and uh, time is a matter. How fast can, or how efficiently can this story be told? <clears throat> well, pallets. They they could try pallets. Uh, if there's there's lots of stacked pallets in the field, and by getting four pallets and putting them upside down under the tires, <clears throat> near the tires, try to get them up onto the pallets. We've done that. It works. It would be a chance to teach. And, and, you know, Acts 2, 3, and 4 are, are largely, especially 2 and 3, are largely about teaching a, a different way of being. They, they could put chains on, on the tires if, if there were time to do it. Or there could already be chains on. That would work. But it still stuck. Eventually, Festus, who is far away, uh, he, he, he's headed down. He limps. And he's headed down in, into the ruins of the village. But he sees and he realizes that they can't do it without him. So he would limp his way up uh, as they struggle to try to do this and eventually get behind it and maybe even get the others to just move away. And behind a pickup truck, backed up to it with his enormous strength, he would get it unstuck. Nama especially, all of them would be amazed and impressed at Festus' enormous strength. But Nama especially, and I was saying that her lust for him, uh, I've thought more about that. And, and even with her, it, it doesn't have to exactly be lust. Admiration, let me, let me just call it admiration for Festus, that could begin then. But then, uh, as everyone's all happy, it's unstuck, and they want to uh, compliment him and congratulate him, he wouldn't particularly be joyful about it. As a matter of fact, he would limp away and head back to the village, which would perhaps sort of puzzle everybody, especially Nama, because he'd done something victorious. But he is sad. He is angry. Uh, and the theme, the mood, would return to his mood, with probably with his leitmotif, with his musical leitmotif, as he would head down, as they all would now head down into the ruins of the village. Bye for now.